Hey everyone, Adam with Droy Media here, and today we're making cookies. Cucaloris kooks or cookies are not those delicious chocolate chip things that we know and love. They're actually these funky patterned uh, pieces of material that we put in front of our lights to project uh, interesting or dramatic shadows onto something. Now, uh, you simply put one up, blast your light through it, and it projects the shadow of whatever's onto it onto your background. It's really as simple as that. Now for most of us, three-point or standard interview lighting is one of the most common, if not the only way we like to light things. It's tried and true, um, it's pleasant, and it's a very effective way to light things. However, as cinematographers, filmmakers, videographers, creative professionals, we have the ability to shape, modify, control um, both light and shadow, and uh, we should do so every chance we get. And one of the easiest ways to do that is by using cookies. Cookies, or as they are regularly called, kookaloris or kooks, can be anything that shapes light into a pattern. Now, now these can be anything uh, from window blinds to tree leaves to branches to spooky arms um, and everything in between. There's really no right or wrong way when it comes to creating these. You can pick nice wooden versions of these up online for like 80 bucks, but today for less than $12 we're going to be making a set of our own. Materials you're going to need for this are two pieces of large black foam board. Now I buy 20 by 30 inch pieces at my local Hobby Lobby for like $6. You can find them at any hobby or craft store typically. And then we're going to want a box cutter or an X-Acto knife to make the cuts. And then a carpenter square, a ruler, or a yardstick, something like that to make straight lines. The first thing we want to do is cut this shape down into two smaller portions. I cut my 20 by 30 inch piece in half to make two 20 by 15 inch pieces. Something to keep in mind when cutting is we're going to be clamping these down by the edges. So you'll want to leave one or two inches of space around the outside of these for your clamps to grab onto. If we go any smaller than that, we run the risk of covering up our shapes with the actual clamp. So the most common kookaloris you'll find is this one with the kind of nebulous blob-like shapes all over it. You can see it here behind me. Um, I've got it just here on the ground um, behind me projecting onto the wall. To make this one, you want to sketch out some shapes on your foam board and then simply cut them out with your knife. Go slow and be sure you're making nice clean cuts on all of your edges. This is pretty boring to watch, so let's go ahead and use a little movie magic to speed this up. And boom, your first kookaloris is done. One that looks like a standard four pane window is also pretty common. To make this one, we'll want to cut out a few rectangles, but we need to frame up the edges first. Now I'm giving myself a one and a half inch wide margin here, then measure and mark halfway down each side so we know where to put the crossbars. I made these crossbars one inches wide. Just so you're not watching me cut, let's speed this up. After you've got the panels cut out, be sure to go in and clean up any sloppy cuts or rough edges. And boom, you've got the second one done. And the last one we're gonna make is a mini blinds one. Now this one is pretty popular too and one of my personal favorites. So frame up the edges just like we did with the four pane window one and then mark out blinds. I made mine one inch thick. Then simply cut them out. Again, pretty boring here, so we're gonna jump ahead. Now, I had an uneven number of blinds on the one I did, so I just left one side uncut, which will actually leave a nice large space to clamp onto. So you've just created your own set of cookies, but how do you use them? Like I said earlier, it's literally as simple as putting them in front of a light and letting the shadows project onto the background. Like most things though, uh, there's some tips and tricks and nuances to making these things really pop. So let's get into it. Tip one. Make sure you're controlling your shadows. Now here I'm just using a Kame TV bolts and light, blasting it through the window cookie we just made and creating that shadow on the wall. Now one of the issues you might notice right away is that there's some spill on the outside of the window. Real windows don't do this, so we wanna either flag off the excess light or in this case, just close down the barn doors until it looks more realistic. Tip number two, you don't need anything special or fancy to use these. Just a stand and a spring clamp works really well. But consider getting a duckbill clamp or even a grip arm and a grip head to attach these two. You'll find eventually that having the extra range of motion that these give you is a huge help when trying to create the look you want. Tip number three, modify the light you're putting through the cookie. By adjusting the angle of the light and adding in gels, you can really help sell the illusion that it's a different time of day or night. By adding in an orange gel, we've gone from a midday to an early morning or late evening look here. And now we've added in a blue gel to really sell a nighttime or a moonlight sort of effect. So that's it. You should have your very own set of cookies and a handful of tips on how to get started using them. Now, if you've got any comments, questions, or cool cookie designs you've made, leave those 
in the comment section below. If you liked what you saw, please click like. If you want to stay up to date on other tutorial videos like this, click subscribe. Thank you for watching this video, and I will see you next time.